it, this next period, uh, you outlined a number of the cases, Spanish olives, olive oil, beef, uh, steel. Um, we also have that massive tennis match, which um, uh, has been going on for years and years, which will come um, out and into the open next year with the decisions on Airbus and Boeing. Um, and what we can see, and the Bombardier case shows very clearly, is that companies like Boeing and other vested interests in the U.S. see the Trump administration as a massive uh, opportunity to push forward a very anti-competitive agenda in their sectors. And I agree with David. I, I think, actually, for Trump, as um, a businessman, um, he recognises when people stand eyeball to eyeball with him. And I think, collectively, in Europe, we will have to stand eyeball to eyeball on these cases. And I think we have to look back at what's, what we've done in the past, um, when Europe has stood collectively to defend uh, manufacturing jobs in 2002, 2003, uh, the Bush administration threatened um, tariffs on U European UK produced steel. Um, at that point, a UK minister, then a Labour government, went backwards and forwards. You know, we have a very special relationship with the US, apparently. Um, went backwards and forwards to Washington to try and get those tariffs reduced. It was only when trade tariffs were threatened on Florida oranges from the European side that those tariffs were reduced and a trade war was avoided. Um, and I think probably we have to act early and we have to act clearly, collectively, to ensure that these individual cases don't become an avalanche and a new massive trade war.